A very good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News on TV1. Let's start off first with a look at your headlines. Third project to generate electricity through recycling garbage commences in Karadinia. Father and son die after vehicle plunges into the Gurugoda Oya in Kegol. Farmers in Tantiri Male continue to suffer hardships even after receiving rainfall. Starting off with one of those headline-making stories, now President Maithripala Sirisena laid the foundation stone this morning for a project to generate electricity by recycling garbage at the Karadhenia Garbage Recycling Facility. The project aims to generate 10 megawatts of electricity. Minister of Megapolis and Western Development, partly Trampika Ranavaka, Chief Minister of Western Province, Isura Deva Priya, Deputy Foreign Minister, Professor Harsha De Silva, and former Finance Minister, Ravi Karnanayaka, attended the event. I think... I am the Minister of Western Development and Megapolis. I was told that a competent and legal authority will be created to facilitate development in the Western province. It has been two years, but it is yet to be established. As a result, people complain that no work is being done. Minister Champika let us work together to develop this area. There are allegations against this government. Sometimes I get the feeling that Yahapalne exists only for the SLF peers. We have Harsha De Silva also here today. You are the people that created this change. Let us join hands and create this change. Together with the president, we can steer this administration towards Yahapalaniya once again. I want to issue a challenge to the chief minister. Over the past two to three months, the issue of garbage has been present in the Kote area. They claim that since the garbage has not been separated, they cannot collect it. We reached a decision to put up a notice on the municipal council boards saying when the degradable and when the non-degradable waste will be collected. I have a picture of it. There are no political signs on it. You said that you feel Yahapalne applies only to SLFP. I beg to differ. A decision was reached to put up 17 such signs across the area through the MC. But it did not happen. Instead of doing that, they put up your face and the face of a local politician from the SLFP and said these are the days on which garbage will be collected. I am sorry to say this, but it is the truth. <laughs> Prime Minister Ranil Vikrama Singh participated in the penahara of the Lunava Shri Vishnu Dharma Mahaviharaya in Muratua yesterday. The penahara of the Lunava Shri Vishnu Dharma Mahaviharaya in Muratua was organized for the 72nd time this year. The casket carrying the sacred relics was placed on the main elephant of the penahara by Prime Minister Ranil Vikrama Singh. <laughs> Theravada Buddhism began at the Mahaviharya. It was from the Mahaviharya that Theravada was propagated to Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and southern Vietnam. Therefore, we must conserve the Mahaviharya. We will begin working on the Mahaviharya. We will make the financial allocations. The chief Thera of Ruan Valley Saya agreed to remove the Sangha Nivase from that area. We are thankful to him for that. We have to begin excavations here. Professor Conningham, who uncovered the Mahadevi Viharya in Lumbini in Kapilavastupura, is in the country. He too said that we must begin work here. When we begin, people will be able to get a better understanding about the Mahaviharya. A team of Indian officials is due to arrive in the country today to look into the Indian fishing vessels that were released. Navy Media Spokesperson Lieutenant Commander Chamindavala Kuluge said that the team will be led by a Director of Fisheries. Previously, the Attorney General granted approval for the release of 42 fishing vessels in Sri Lankan custody, following which the Indian government was notified of the decision. Let's now take a look at a number of motor accidents that were reported across the country. Two people died following a motor accident where a vehicle fell into the Gurugoda Oya in Pingaldenia while travelling along the Abhisavela Kegol main road. 
According to police, three other women were injured in the accident that occurred this morning. The deceased residents of Putrai were 57 and 31 years of age. The spouse and daughter of the deceased sustained injuries and have been hospitalized. A spokesperson of the Kegol Hospital said that one of the injured is in serious condition. Four were injured in an accident that occurred in Ihalatadua, Avisavela, after a three-wheeler veered off the road. A group of residents from the Hiovita faced the incident while they were travelling to Avisavela. According to police, the driver had lost control of the vehicle and three-wheeler had veered off the road and fallen into a lake. Now in some developing news, a three-story building which was under construction in Nigambo has collapsed. According to police, a number of fire and rescue units have been dispatched to the location. Three persons have already been rescued from within the rubble and uh, reports suggest that officials are currently working on rescuing one other person. A three-storied building which was under construction in Nigambo has collapsed. According to police, a number of fire and rescue units have been dispatched to the location. We will have the latest in a bit. Stay tuned. And with that, we wrap up Lunchtime News on TV1. For details of these stories and more, you can log on to our website, www.newsfirst.lk. I'm Charlotte Benedict for the News First TV. Your latest news update will come your way at 1.55. Good day.